Okay guys, so let me explain what these mean. So basically WPX, this is a hosting company and XDN is their own content delivery network. Now by using their own XDN, you can drastically increase your WordPress website performances, which in turn will greatly help with higher conversion. Okay, so let's have a deeper look into this. Okay, so let's say that you're based in the UK and anyone worldwide can purchase from your website. Now, this is where you're going to face a big problem with a conventional hosting because if someone tries to access your website, let's say from the United States, then the information will have to travel all the way from the US to the UK and back. And this will cause your website to load very slowly, which will impact the user experience and most likely affect your conversion rate badly as well, which means obviously less sales at the end of the month for you and this is where a content delivery network comes into play so wpx.net they have 37 different locations worldwide so now if someone from the us wants to access your website well they will now be able to access it from the nearest data center now check out this list here so they basically have 13 data centers just in the us alone so they have new york chicago dallas seattle los angeles ashbourne atlanta silicon valley and miami so obviously they're also in canada in europe in Africa, Asia, well, basically worldwide, you know, at 37 different locations, and they keep adding each and every time. So this is how a CDN or content delivery network works. Now, WPX.net, they don't call it a CDN, but an XDN. And the reason is because it was custom built from the ground up by themselves, specifically for high performance WordPress hosting. And that makes a huge difference, obviously, you know. And also they constantly tweak the XDN for maximum WordPress performances. So XDN stands for Excellent Delivery Network. Isn't that funny? Now, the best part is that it comes for free. It's completely free. So if you already have an account with WPX.net, well, you can make use of it and improve the performances of your website. Okay, so when is an XDN most useful? Well, let's say if you run a blog or maybe if you have a portfolio with images, then the XDN will massively accelerate your page loading speed. However, if you have a website with bespoke or dynamic elements, like an e-commerce site uh, with individual shopping carts, then the XDN won't help as much because these dynamic elements, well, basically they can't be cached. But in this case, you can always install an additional plugin like W3 Total Cache with their custom settings, and this will also improve your website's performances. And don't worry about the bandwidth allocation, the XDN will not affect it either. Now, if you'd like to find out more about WPX and their services, I'll leave a playlist right here.